Yeah, let's talk about the city hall. We came into that, I came into that project that was already started and moving. And what it was, was the building out of the police facility, building out of the new fire uh, house, remodeling of well, the, the library, fire, me, and, which should not fire, have been the done. The fire was, station was first. I yeah, think. the yeah. fire station was first. And the total remodeling of the old city hall. And uh, we were supposed to have a big auditorium in it. In the, in, in the middle, in the middle, between the police facility and the library. If you look there, there's a beautiful space where they do the uh, ice skating in the, in the winter and where they have different concerts in the summer. That was supposed to be a fantastic auditorium. The costs got out of control and they canceled it. They canceled it before before I even got on the, on the council or anything. That was a terrible mistake because that would have been there and it would have been wonderful. Uh, the costs and the overruns there were terrible, but I have to tell you in all honesty that it doesn't matter what any city, county, state, federal government does. There is nobody there that's going to be a driving force to hold down costs and to see that the public gets its money's worth. It's a, it is an absolute physical impossibility. Number one, everything has to go through so many hands and everybody makes changes and it just goes on and on and on and it's interminable. And what you have to be able to do is instead of fighting the battle, close your eyes, get the project done, and know that it's going to be there for 100 years, and that's the way you're going to get your value the out of it. The sad part was that, yeah. that they spent so much money on plans to remove the auditorium oh, yeah. oh. that it was, it was outrageous. By the, time, by the time they got through, they probably would have been able to put in the auditorium for the same money it costs and to build the project. And because I'm working now for 20 years with the Beverly Hills Theater Guild, we would have had a beautiful theater to put on plays.